Hi, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the bug life cycle or defect life cycle. Most of the interviews very commonly asked question is bug life cycle. I saw that in during the interview sessions, the candidates not able to explain the definition for the bug life cycle. Straight away, they are going to say new, open, closed, these things. So whenever you are going to explain the answer for the question, first give the clarity on the subject, then you go for the other things. So when you ask about the bug life cycle, new, open, what is the, what is the relation for that question to these points which you are giving? So that's one of the common mistake which I observed in the interview sessions. So bug life cycle. This bug life cycle describes various status of defect, various status of defect from its identification to closed. That's the first thing which I have to say. Bug life cycle. It describes various status of defect from its identification to closed. Now here, test engineer will provide the three types of status for the defect. So first thing, new. That means first time when you identify defect, you are reporting about the defect to the developers, then that defect should have the status as new. When first time test engineer reporting about that defect, then have the status as new. Second one is reopen when test engineer not satisfied about defect resolve work during retesting then it is called reopen we give the status as reopen so as a test engineer we satisfied about the defect resolve work during retesting then we give the status as closed as a test engineer three kind of status we are going to provide new reopen closed Similar way, when you report a defect to developers, developers will do the triage meeting on defects. At that time, different kind of status developers are going to provide. What are the different kind of status developers are going to provide? Duplicate. If a defect is similar to earlier defect, then they are going to give duplicate. Duplicate they can give. Sometimes they can give the rejected when defect is not accepted by developers, then they give the status as rejected. Then hold when developers are required more information about the defect, then they give the status as hold. Deferred developers are accepted, but this kind of defect they will consider in next release of the application not in the present release deferred they are going to give then open when defect is accepted and ready to resolve open then assigned when defect is assigned to specific developer to solve assigned fixed when defect is resolved they give the status as fixed so the different kind of status developers are going to provide duplicate rejected hold deferred open assigned fixed okay next thing diagrammatically i explained here try to understand bug life cycle or defect life cycle first step whenever tester finds a bug in software then he locks the bug in the bug tracking tool with the statuses new first time when you identify defect you are going to lock the defect into the bug tracking tool like jira quality center bugzilla like this what is the status are going to give you that is the new here that is a new first step 
after that your bug id will be generated and a bug is assigned to developers assigned to the developers who is going to generate the bug id your tool is going to generate the bug id which is assigned to developers so the developers are going to the triage meeting on defects at that level different kind of status developers are going to provide duplicate the whatever defect you reported which is similar to the earlier defect which they already received duplicate they may give rejected maybe that is not a valid defect then they go for rejected hold when developer required more information about the defect hold or pending also they are going to give deferred developers are accepted defect but this kind of defect will be resolved next release of the application deferred so they may give suppose open that means they accepted and they are ready to solve it assign when task is assigned to the particular developer to solve the defect that is a assign that is a then developer analyze the defect if it is valid then they fix or resolve the defects they fix or resolve defects whenever they fix or resolve the defect again they give the status as fixed from assigned to fixed open assign to fixed now when which is in turn assigned to testers who verifies the bug once the bug is resolved the modified version given to the test engineers so we test engineer verify the bug resolve work so the type of testing where we are going to call retesting who is responsible by test engineer okay so which is in turn assigned to testers who verifies the bug the bug is resolved or not is going to verify so if test engineer is satisfied then he is give the status as close if not satisfied reopen if satisfied closed if not satisfied then again so if not satisfied again he has to report to the developers by giving the status as reopen now as a test engineer we give only three types of status one is new closed reopen remaining status developers are going to provide so that is the bug life cycle bug life cycle describes various status of the defect from it identification to closed as a test engineer we give the three kind of status new closed reopen developers are going to give the different kind of status duplicate rejected hold deferred open assign fixed this kind of status developers are going to provide there is one question in interview point of time how do you know that whether developers are accepted your defects or not how do you know whether developers are accepted your defects or not how we can say that using status of the defect we can say that if status is open means they accepted so status is rejected means they are not accepted like that so based on the status of the defect we can know that which stage the defect was so this is about the bug life cycle one of the important thing thank you subscribe my channel